Welcome back to the sixth episode of a Panzer Core Allied Core DLC playthrough. And let's get to it. Due to logistical problems and Marshal Graziani's doubtful attitude, the Italian advance into Egypt, slow from the outset, has come to a complete stop near Sidi Barani. There they have dug in and created a series of fortified camps and minefield defenses. The Italians' passivity and slowness has given us sufficient time to strengthen our forces, and we are now ready to launch a full counterattack. HQ has named it Operation Compass. Your goal is to penetrate their defenses and seize Sidi Barani itself, and at a minimum two other marked objectives. Getting through the minefields will be difficult, but we are making available to you additional engineers to clear a pathway. Success here may open the way to further attacks. We must make the most of this opportunity. So press on, and good luck. Thank you very much. Let's get to it. Um, triumph. Capture all objectives. Victory. Capture Sidi Barani and at least two other objectives. Well, we're going for that triumph, though. Look at that. New equipment. Engineers. That can be used for uh, clearing out minefields and such. We got a Chevy WB. Which is what now? A scout unit? Alright, well, okay, two pounder Porti and a BL 6 inch 26 CWT, 40 millimeter SPAA, and quite a few different aircraft. Alright, well, let's look into this a little bit, though. Now, let's get some replacements for of fallen comrades from the previous scenario units to deploy 11 out of 11 well i mean we hmm how are we gonna do this like i'm not sure how many of what we want to take in here let's look at the tactical bombers although i'll be honest unless specifically trying to kill some naval units i rarely go for this uh these types of units. Except uh, the Boo Fighter or Bow Fighter here could be worth it. As it has the. Uh, as you see, these other ones have uh, like a. Um, well, what's that symbol even called? Uh, but yeah, they got the symbol thing here around. Uh, wow, I actually don't know what that's called. Like brackets? Is it brackets? I think it's brackets, okay, so like, if you have this bracket uh, value here, then uh, that means you can only respond to attack, and that would be your air attack, if attacked. Uh, so they're not so versatile in that sense, but this thing can um, itself attack. And we've got like seven initiative, which is pretty okay. What's the hurricane's got? Five. And what's the air attack? Fifteen. A little bit better air attack, but the higher initiative, though, initiative. Could make this a more viable aircraft for the time being. Can move 13, 46 fuel and 5 ammo. As opposed to can move... No, that was the hurricane. 6 ammo, 12, 80 fuel. That just seems a lot better than the hurricane. Hmm. Then we have strategic bombers. Oh no, those are the ones that I don't usually go for that much, unless specifically going for naval bombardment or any other role where it would be very useful. I'm leaning towards maybe getting a couple of these. Not so sure though. One thing that I know that we do want to have here is additional engineers. So we're going to get uh, our first mechanized engineer corps. As we have one engineer squad here and one here that are auxiliary and they will start uh, taking up minefields that we don't really see the full extent of yet. We have to take this, this and there's some prestige bonus in taking that. So that means we're going to be going for that as well because uh, we do want that extra prestige wherever we can get it. Hmm, let's press F7 and get our tab up here 
Well, all these units there are pretty dang useful with their uh, battle heroes and whatnot. Uh, I'm just a little bit torn on what to actually use on this uh, mission here, though. Do we go with three artillery? Is, is that something we want to do? Can we upgrade it? We can upgrade it. Uh, Matador. Alright, what, what will the upgrade be? Three range? Okay, yeah, for sure we want that instead of this two range stuff. Less ammo. Uh, fair enough trade off. Uh, quite a substantial amount more damage, and that's the whole thing. Seemingly, now we are getting to the uh, in house rules that I was talking about previously in, uh, in the first episode. And let me explain to you. Like, we're going to turn in some equipment, like these quads. We paid for them, right? And we're going to upgrade to this, which will not be transported by a quad, but by a matador. And the quads, what about them? I mean, we retain the cost that we've spent on the uh, artillery itself, but the quads? We're just going to get dumped in the ocean? We're not getting the prestige back on that? Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. So we're going to reimburse ourselves for the quads that we are returning in exchange for these matadors. We're going to pay for all the stuff, but I'm going to have my good and known prestige back for these quads. And that might be seen as cheating, because technically to do that I'm going to have to open up this. Control alt c uh, Control alt shift c and enter the uh, cheat codes in a cheat uh, menu here. But I don't feel like this is cheating. I just feel like this is making things right with the world. You know, this is how I feel like it should just be by default. If you're returning equipment, you should get the prestige back for it. If you lose equipment, then well, if you lost it in war, then you lost it in war. But we're returning it for other army units to use this. So I have no problem with doing this. So we're going to imburse ourselves so with 240 prestige. There you go. As uh, if we double check the... We can also withdraw uh, or subtract subs uh, prestige in that way. But yeah, 215, 295 with this. So this costs 80. And they're going to go away. And we're going to have to pay for both the upgrade of the artillery and for the new vehicles. So, yeah, well, that's that's how I do it. That's like my in ho my in house rule. And it might not be something everyone could be fully on board with, but I don't particularly care because I really think that is just fair. That's just fair. You know? But but anyway, moving on. So uh yeah, we have these recons. Can we upgrade them actually? Will this be better? Uh, higher initiative. More fuel. Fuel hasn't really been an issue for us so far. Anti-air capabilities. Less tank ca uh, capabilities. Less defense. I mean, it's a different breed of uh, recon unit, but it's not the breed for us, I think. And if I'm looking at it, like we could technically just upgrade our infantry to engineers, right? But the thing with engineers is that they uh, they can't move three tiles. They can only move two. Right, let's let's have a quick look at our uh, infantry here. And uh, British engineers. Less ammo. Better against infantry or soft targets and hard targets. Can somewhat defend against air. Less initiative. Hmm. Well. I mean, as you can see here, they have military engineers, bunker killer, minesweeper. They're really good at attacking entrenched positions. And we're basically doing desert warfare right now. So what I'm thinking is we actually just upgrade all our infantry. Like, cause in the open, we're just going to be using armored units anyway. 
Right, so we might as well have engineers to uh, just assault the strong points and clear out mines at this point. I think we're upgrading them all. But here, once again, we see this. Oh, we have to completely pay the full cost to upgrade them, to retain the experience that we've got. We can't just convert them to, uh, like, a infantry group. We can't just, like, hey, you guys are going to be engineers now. No, sir. So that's another thing we're going to reimburse ourselves on. And uh, let's see, that would be 260, 276. Boy. And there you go. So, you might find it cheesy. I find it uh, making the world right. First, make a nice engineer. So, I mean, we already put all the prestige into getting these infantries. And if you upgrade them to retain their experience and such, then we have to pay the full price of a new infantry unit anyway. And then lose the infantry unit we already paid for? Nah, 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 nah. That doesn't sound right to me at all. So, some might agree with me, some might not. Regardless, that's how I'm gonna do it. So, we got three engineer squads then. We got three scout squads, three artilleries. And what do we do with the aircrafts? Because I'm thinking maybe we just get this uh, this tactical bomb or so. Is there anything else we would like to have, maybe? Cruiser Mark IV. Less ammo, less fuel, more initiative, more defense than its predecessor and can move further. I'm not sure we want this necessarily. Maybe we get one. If we can also then get a bow, boo fighter, bow fighter, I don't even know. Don't know how to say that. Uh, 253, is that enough for one of these? It is not. Okay. Well then, there we are. We have a uh, bow fighter. I think like bow fighter, I've heard it uh, called in a movie or something. Is it Bew Fighter? Bombers. Just gonna call them the first Bombers, because I have no idea how to say the freaking... Like, please... <laughs> well, you can't write that in comments and, and tell me how to say that. I should probably look it up or something. Um, yeah, we just... Uh, no, I mean, first Bombers, that doesn't sound entirely... Useful. I'm gonna call them first tech bombers or tactical bombers because they are tactical bombers, right? Yeah um, So we we can not bring one of these units with us Which is fine. I think we'll have one of the hurricanes sit out whichever one is least experience uh, Do we want more air units? I have no idea how many enemy air units we're going to be facing. Can we put them... I haven't tried this before, actually, but could we technically land an airplane and put it back in reserve and then bring out another unit? Is that possible? I, I don't know. Well, regardless, we'll put one engineer here. Okay, now we're going to do it this way. The experienced engineers will go over here. The inexperienced new one will go over here. We'll have the experienced artillery here, there. Wait a minute. Oh, not all experienced. There, and um, one there. The A2. Uh, plus two attack dudes will be here. This guy will be here. And uh, I think we just leave out this uh, hurricane here. Or, because I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I feel like going too hard with air units could also be detrimental, but. Because I want to be able to 
be on the ground and get to this position and also all the other positions. But am I going to get wrecked by enemy air forces now then? I don't think so necessarily. I seem to recall me using three air units there in the past though. So maybe we have four engineers, two recons and three artillery. Maybe three artillery is overkill. Ah oh, man, the sessions and sessions. That's like endless opportunities of combinations in this game. We're just going to go with this. Let's not uh, mess around any longer with this. Now, there are these mines that are going to be a little bit of an issue for us from time to time, however. Yeah. Oh well, from time to time. It's just we can't see them. That's the main problem. I'm not even sure if we can step over here, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, let's just start shooting the artillery off. And I guess we bombed this with... Now, there might be anti-air, actually. But let's see. Uh, where is the border of these mines? So they go probably up here. Right, yeah, we're not stepping into minefield right now. Let's just break through here. And move the artillery up. Oh, the mines are covered by the artillery. Right, okay, well, it doesn't matter. We have enough prestige now to... Uh, for me being so cheesy with my play stuff, I guess. To, uh, yeah, to reinforce the units a little bit. Either way, I think we can just break through and attack this. Maybe not just yet, though. There's an artillery in back here supporting them, but uh, well, we could maybe do something about that. Yeah, it's pretty much... Uh, it's fully suppressed now, so uh, we can attack this. And attacking with engineers, well, we, uh, we don't regard the uh uh what's what we for like entrenchment is uh we, we don't have to worry about it it just bypasses entrenchment i think we can quickly find that out like this so let's see terrain cap equals three yeah effective defense there is nothing about uh entrenchment because engineers will negate that we're gonna attack it though with uh, this dude here as well because i don't know if there's some anti-air in this unit here so let's not go too hard on that too soon all right that's a good opening attack i would say and well we could break through here with the uh, recon and take that on we should also be able to attack here but just the artillery in the back and uh, now these guys don't have any rear guard support, but it's okay, I guess. Let's move a scout or recon units over here and this guy over here. Just we have a clue of what's coming in here or what is around the area. It's been a while since I played this game, so I don't really remember too well what is where. But with that being said, let's pass on to the next turn. Okay, that is inconvenient. Gonna have to use some prestige points to uh, resupply these guys. We're not gonna bother with the auxiliary engineers, but the ones that are on the main force, for sure we will. Um, okay, so maybe we fly over here now. And bomb that artillery though. And then start shooting at it with our artillery. Have this artillery in support of our infantry here. It's almost fully suppressed. So I think we'll just bomb that guy. And uh, hopefully force him. Wow. The one guy that was suppressed actually killed one of the guys. Uh, yeah, we forced the surrender, which is exactly what I was aiming for. Now we can get replacements here. Full replacements for 42 prestige. It is very expensive to run these engineers. But let us just do it. We now have all the cover for it. Right, let's see if we can uh, suppress this with the ship. Oh. Yeah, it's fully suppressed. Okay, so. Um, 
<laughs> we could have actually attacked that thing. Um, but okay, let's see how we do in that area. First off, let's attack her. Like that. And I guess we might as well just bomb these guys. Let's not move in here just yet with those dudes. And locate some minefields around her. No, we don't necessarily need to uh, blow these minefields here up. But uh, there is this guy over here, which maybe we can get an aircraft on. Actually, before we do. And there's no anti-air here, which we found out uh, the stupid way, but uh, it worked out though. Yeah, this guy doesn't have any anti-air capabilities, so we just attack him. Although we should have probably attacked the artillery. Which, let's uh, let's get to attacking the artillery. There's more artillery over there. Now, this guy will be tough for the infantry here to attack in the open, and we're just going to take on more artillery. Fantastic. Uh, second recon got Distinguished Conduct Medal, very nice, that's a hundred kills, basically. And I'm not sure I want to waste the uh, auxiliary engineers on attacking this, at least not just yet. But let's take on the, uh, or completely get rid of that artillery piece there. And I would say so far, so good. Is there anything else we can do? Not really. Oh, that's got three range as well. Okay. Oh, okay, well that worked out pretty well for me now. Oh, this might not work out as well. Okay, well, uh, yeah. There's always going to be enemies about, I guess, so we got to be a little bit more careful with how we approach things, so... I can maybe move in this uh, this guy here. Kind of want to take out this artillery, but it's not necessarily something we need to do right away. And I do want to send a diversionary force over here as well, or diverging force over there. Um, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And just uh, take on those guys for now and suppress them. Well, the artillery here can actually hit my ship, so that's a little bit stupid. I'm not seeing any anti-air here, so maybe they just don't have a lot of that yet. But we fly in and try to cause some damage. Uh, these tanks do not have anti-air capabilities. We could, however, focus on the uh, recon unit there. Oh, well, that didn't do much to that. Can we actually get through and eliminate this? Fantastic. Okay, let's just finish up in this part too. We'll have one more turn to do that, I guess. Uh, they shouldn't be able to get past my engineers and attack this uh, artillery here. So we should be good. I'll uh, move the artillery in a little bit here. And, um, let's see. Let's Let's, uh, yeah, bomb that anti-tank gun there, and this entrenchment position. Just as a press them, not because we need to remove entrenchment at the moment, but, uh... Yeah, let's see, we can move this guy... Well, I don't want to move him too far, actually, I don't want to... Have the artillery too exposed. Maybe we can have our main forces move in like this. Oh, sorry, our core unit engineers. And that worked out. Oh, lovely. First mechanical engineers have Anthony Davies with plus one attack. Now, I say combat hero. Fantastic. Perfect, perfect. All right, well, we'll uh, let us out here and... Um, Well, we should maybe get on these guys and leave that anti-tank unit alone for now. I'll move this over here. We'll also capture this. Hmm. I think we had a little bit of an overload of engineers, so rather we had more than we actually needed, but... Uh, well, at least now we have them. For the future, when it makes sense, we'll probably get some new infantry. 
know, just to have that three tile infantry movement. But at the moment, I would say it doesn't necessarily make sense to do so. Either way, this should be outside the range of the enemy artillery now. And, uh, well, let's see what I do with these engineers. I'll wait for next turn. Well, naval bombers could have come in handy. Ah, okay, well, that's the enemy air, air force. Oof. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No more, please. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I might be taking a little bit too lightly on these uh, missions at this point in time now. Uh, but we'll send some backup in over here. Damn near killed it. Fantastic. Right, either way, I'll send this guy over here. Just down here, and let's get the air force on the enemy aircraft. The hurricane will apparently perform better, so... Now we know. And I don't see why, because... The... the bow fighters, or boof... The B fighters... Have more... Initiative, but less air attack. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I don't fully understand these things, but uh, yeah, I played this game for over a decade. And I still don't fully understand things. That's uh, that's how it goes, I guess. Well, hopefully we can back up a little bit here. And oh no, our ship is not going to be in good shape. When they came up with that uh, saying, in ship shape, they weren't thinking about this ship. Either way, hopefully we can do some damage to this dude. Not a whole lot, if I'm being honest. Uh, but okay. Let's see what we can do here. Can maybe bomb that. Yeah. Then we can go in here and attack this entrenched position. Move these guys back so these guys won't be taking them out. Although then alternatively they'll be engaging stuff that is in my core forces. So that was a bit silly maybe. Uh, but I do want a couple of these recon units to go down here and check out what's up over there. And uh, maybe bring an artillery piece with them. Maybe. Uh, either way, so if we... They got two spotting. We could risk it for the biscuit and send the engineers over here. The next turn we can start attacking here, but we could use some artillery to help us out in that. And we do have this, but it isn't close enough and I can't move it closer now because I already spent the turn on it. Oh well. Let's attack this position here. Engineers should be able to do a short process out of them, particularly when they have plus one attack. And yeah, okay, I, f I feel like we're doing okay though. Except for the ship, it's, uh, the ship is really not doing well. Is the enemy ship uh, stronger than ours? I'm kind of getting that feeling here, so... Alright, let's attack here first. Oh well... That's also... Okay, we'll just bomb that. Or bombard that, I should say. Let's do some artillery, and then we'll do this. Take that with the weak-ass uh, engineers. Send these engineers up front a little bit. Attack that. And fail miserably at taking it. Well, <laughs> really well. I'm doing things the wrong order here and everything. I'm gonna fall back with these guys. Spotting range is one, but we've already seen this ship, so maybe... Nope, we're gonna lose the ship. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. We'll use... Uh, do we get the placements? Ah, uh, yeah, I think we get the placements, so we don't take too long over here. Let's move close and see what's up. Oh, we need an engineer. Right, okay, we'll, uh, we'll bring... This engineer. And, uh, yeah, let's start bombing the shit out of this stuff. 
we might as well go and refuel right now. Right, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll do this. Is it optimal? No, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but is it gonna work? Hopefully. Um. <laughs> yeah, and I, th I think we're doing okay. I should maybe just put something here in case they come down with more forces from over here, though. Oh, okay, we enter. Alright. Enemy aircraft. Well, let's take it on. And hopefully out. Almost. However, now I can resupply. Which, that is quite expensive. So if you throw a lot of uh, requisition points. No, sorry, my bad. Um, what's it called? Prestige points. On that. Or oh, prestige. Not even points. Just prestige. I'm just being a doofus. So, never mind me. Alright, anyway, we'll do it like this. Just throw some artillery at that. And uh, move these guys further in here together with the artillery behind them. Actually, let's uh, do some artillery stuff there. Take that out. Then we resupply next turn. We can also send artillery. Well, these guys can go over here. To support the artillery, not that they're going to be able to do much, but still. Alright, so we can get the uh, in, uh, engineers in action there. One, two, three. Okay, so these things are actually out of our range, unfortunately. One engineer and one recon unit should be enough there, right? Yeah, as long as they have artillery support. Now I'm just going to hide this guy in the corner. Okay, no effect from that artillery strike, that's good. No effect from that either, except they're extremely uh, suppressed. Uh, I'm just relieved there hasn't been more actual enemy units attacking us yet. We're gonna get some uh, supplies out, resupply the artillery as well, and these guys. And I don't think we uh, get replacements. Now, if we can just get this artillery piece out of the way. That would be nice. Well, it's out of the way at least. It's not going to be supporting the uh, anti-tank gun. And we're not going to be killing it either, but oh well. Not this turn, anyway. And, uh, okay, we move on here. Engineers up front, maybe. Maybe these guys. That is artillery over there, so let's just crush that first of all. Lord knows what else is going to be here, but... Uh... Okay, we've cut off the artillery. It has to go down here, if anywhere, and so that's not going to happen. Oh well, if that happens, it's not going to be good for it. We've got bad weather, we can't use our air, uh, air force right now. Uh, maybe we can scout? No, it's, oh, it's a sandstorm, yeah, so we, the, even the scout unit can't see a damn thing. It's okay, we'll attack the anti-tank gun with, uh, armored car, so... It's fine, I mean... There's only one left, so, it's not a biggie. This thing, we should try to kill that thing. Alright, that's a good defense there. Making the actual upcoming attack a bit easier for us. Same can be said over here, I suppose. Let's uh, resupply these guys. And have the uh, scout unit go through here. And take out that. And just kind of back off to like there. I don't want to go too far just yet. Right. We'll uh, use our till That did not do much. Okay, but we should be fine. We got three engineer units right there, so we can just push it. It 
it should be okay. And it is, and then we take it with these guys, and then we use this uh, scout vehicle here. I'm just surprised there hasn't been more attacks in our back, so, but uh, maybe they don't have much left. We've already run, only on like turn 8. So the enemy can't be doing that good. And no return fire, fantastic. Uh, we'll fly this aircraft over here, so we have protection for these artillery things. Should an enemy aircraft come in and try to do some mean stuff to us. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll do this. Stop bombarding those guys. Take out this. Uh, not so sure I want to attack that at the moment. We'll take our time down here, I guess. We can't really afford to put too many forces onto that. But I do want the, uh, oh! I do want the prestige points from taking that location. Hmm. Now we can get the hurricane in on the action here, so let's do that. A little bit of casualties. But uh, we caused more damage to him than he did to us, and that's the uh, important part. Now let's head over here. Then do this, and supply. We'll get the artillery in position over here, I think. Um, don't want to be too cocky, though. Supply these guys, move these guys in. Also move these guys in, and... Uh, well, let's hope they don't have any anti-air stuff, huh? We'll just start giving them hell. So I'm gonna resupply that artillery so it's ready to go for next turn. Uh, we might wanna send more units down there to help them out as well. Just to speed things up a little bit. Okay, I think we're doing really good here, actually. Uh, we'll send these guys down to help back over here. Maybe we don't need to, but... Nah, it's auxiliary engineers, who cares? A little bit of casualties doesn't matter. It's not like we're gonna have to replace them or care about their experience or anything, really. Right, okay. So, until we can reach her now. And we are spotting some enemy aircraft. Let's, uh... Let's go in like this. And finish that one off. And then finish that one off. We're actually doing really good here. But we can't finish the um, the scenario before we've taken the additional prestige. You know, this guy can just kind of flank around because I don't want him up front right now. Yeah, we'll just uh, wait a little bit with the final assault over here. This was a lot easier than expected. I mean, it could be a little bit for my cheesy, uh, you know, making things right stuff that I did. But I don't think it necessarily was, though. Maybe we just, uh, you know, you get enough of engineers to break through the minefields to attack from several avenues. So with a bunch of powerful artillery to go along with them, then you, uh, you can set yourself up for success. That being said, let's keep the uh, pressure up here. Um, like so and such. Maybe we can force a retreat here, but I don't think it's worth it because we've got so little uh, hit points left on that guy. Maybe we can kill that. Nice, nice. Okay, that was a tank that actually had anti-air capabilities, so... Not ideal to attack, but... Oh well. Yeah, we'll go for an attack here. Doesn't really matter. Third mechanized engineers, they don't really have that much experience anyway to lose, so we're just gonna replace them for free... Uh, ...before next battle, and have a good time with it, I suppose. Now, we'll send these guys down here, these guys as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll 
we'll see what we do over here. We'll probably send this guy down here as well. Just for good measure. Alright, next turn it is. And let's just kill some more stuff with our bombers. Alright, okay, I'm gonna actually call it uh, first view bow fighters. I'm gonna call it bow fighters. It's probably wrong, I don't know. Correct me if I am wrong. I do want to say it right, but I just don't know what the right way to say it is. And the way we bombard the living shit out of this city and then attack with our engineers. Woo! That's a lot of damage. Let's see, maybe we'll fly over here and do some damage as well. Right, but we can't actually step in and take that yet because, uh, well, I do want this, uh, what is it called? Sufafi, it says over here. It's just like a strong point or something, I guess. Well, let's break down this mine, sir. Let's send in our engineers. Soon we should be able to do some damage here now. Maybe with these guys too. Ah, well, there you go. New units to the... Oh, I have a little bit of uh, a cough coming in though. New units to the fray. Ah, finally this guy's actually doing something. I almost didn't think he was capable of. He just waited for something to not be having artillery support, I guess. But, we'll get our air force on him, clear up the map, and take it from there. Bye bye. And have a good one, I'll leave a dirt Alright, uh, Distinguished Conduct Medal, that's good. Capturing Sofafi, prestigious been awarded to you. I didn't really see how much we had before that, but maybe we got like 150 or something. I'm not sure. But hey, I mean, any prestige is good prestige. So then we can uh, finish off the mission here. And there we go. That went pretty quickly. I don't even really think, like, even if we didn't uh, do that quotation mark scumbag thing there, we would still be able to do pretty much the same that we did though. Maybe slightly differently, but it's just all about having these engineers so you can just break through here and attack from wherever the hell you feel like attacking from. I was expecting more assistance, but uh, I'll take it. Either way, thank you for watching, and uh, let's get to the actually... Uh, the, uh, the debrief. Bravo, a superb outcome. The Italian position has been shattered and the poor blighters are on the run. A great opportunity is opening for us. We are going to run Graziani and his 10th army right out of Egypt. I hope so. As I was saying, thank you for watching if you did like the episode. Although I know it was a little bit all over the place with my babbling on this one. I would still appreciate if you would leave a like on the video. And, uh, well... Maybe subscribe if you want to see some more of my content in the future. Entirely up to you, however. Each one of those things. So, yeah, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.